Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. One of the Creo apps now available as part of PTC's Creo rebranding campaign is PTC Creo Direct. This is a direct modeler. In PTC's words, it's a standalone part and assembly modeling environment built from the ground up. Now that's a bit puzzling because PTC already has a direct modeling program called CoCreate. As it turns out, CoCreate is now called Creo Elements Direct Modeling, which is different from Creo Direct, the one I'm about to show you right now. We'll sort out the differences later, but for now let's just have a look at the application, shall we? At launch time, you'll be asked if you'd like to work in assembly mode or a part mode. So I'm just going to start from the part mode. In its application menu, I can set options and model display color schemes. I'm also going to turn on the snap to grid option, doing it right here. In CreoDirect Sketcher, you can hit S to switch between lines and arcs. Now that I've got my sketch, I can simply extrude to add volume to it. And if I want to, I can double click on the dimension field and enter the precise numeric values. There is a series of options for model display or visual style. So you can pick depending on your preferences. Now, this is a direct modeler, so I would not be working in a history tree or a feature tree. Instead, I'll be pushing, pulling, and stretching the geometry directly, like this, using a drag handle called Copilot. The Copilot gives you quite a few options in dealing with movements. For example, I can reposition the Copilot's point of origin to another place, like the corner of this edge, then drag or reposition a piece of geometry by measuring a distance somewhere on that edge. Or I can use the move from and move to command to specify that I want a series of geometry move from its point of origin to a new point as measured at a distance from a specific surface. The ability to reposition the point of origin of your co-pilot is very important because this is what gives you control over where and how you'd like to execute your rotation angles and movement distances. CreoDirect also gives you a few neutral CAD formats you can open and inspect. Let's try a caster assembly, previously saved as IGES file. Now that I've got the IGES file open as an assembly in CreaDirect's modeling space, if I choose to modify a subcomponent's geometry, say to add volume to a particular piece, I can do it without worrying about the history tree or how that particular model was built in its original application. I can go ahead and make an edit on the geometry, just like this. 
And once I close the edited component, I'll get the updated assembly right now with the new geometry. Now in my view, CreoDirect is quite easy to use and quite robust in part modeling features. One thing that it lacks may be just some tutorial materials, particularly multimedia tutorials like video clips to make learning and mastering the program a lot easier. The program does come with HTML help files, but I think with direct modeling operations, seeing the methods is particularly a good way to learn. I'll look at CreoDirect's assembly modeling environments later. For now, this is Kenneth Wong directing your attention to CreoDirect.